What's up, everybody? Dom Universe. Today's topic uh, of discussion is church. Big, big discussion. Uh, so, I know a lot of people, m most of the world is a part of a religion. And we all go to, we all go to a, a church, a mosque, or whatever that other, a temple, ETZ. And, and have you, I know you've gotten in that temple and you got bored of shit, that mosque, the church, the temple, whatever, you got bored of shit and you fell asleep or you probably fell asleep sitting up, eat whatever. I want you to know your higher self, your higher self is telling you that you are sitting around bullshit. And you sitting around bullshit. Your higher self, it make you feel certain ways when you in certain situations or when you in certain places. It's not just you feeling like uh like tired or bored or like irritated. It's not always it's not always just that. It's more like your higher self is channeling, trying to channel. I know y'all saw a leaf just fall on my shoulder. A big thick ass leaf. But anyway. Uh you in church and you getting bored listening to a pastor talk to you and read you out Bible scriptures that don't even matter and don't even know the meaning of the Bible verse themselves. I talk to people who, who are a part of religion and I ask them, when you go to church, you don't think any of the stuff they say is questionable. questionable. All of them say yes. All of them says yes. And and I know that's with anybody, but anybody who is a part of religion. And this is messed up because being that you know a lot of stuff in religion is questionable. Why not try to find out the answers for yourself instead of still going to church when church is really a waste of your time? You don't. What do you go to church to do? Praise the Lord. <laughs> Allah. Allah is Satan. God in the Bible. The Holy Bible is Satan. Uh, Yeshua or Yahweh Yahweh is Satan I want y'all to know that period Y'all can do y'all research It tells you everything Look the Bible these Bibles And these books be throwing the truth in your face This is why I say Religious people do not read their Bibles They don't read their Bibles Like it, in all three of the books All three books Judy, The Judas The Judas book the uh the Muslim book or Islamic book, the Quran, uh, and the fucking uh the Bible. They all tell you Satan is the ruler of this world. So what does that tell you that we are in right now? We are in hell. You do not go to hell for being a bad you are already in hell. A lot of us are here be are reincarnated because of bad karma. You are already in hell. You are already in hell. It says the people who got the people who got the mark of the beast, right? They go to hell. They are sent to hell. We are the beast. We have the mark of the beast already. Six protons, six electrons, six neutrons. We are the fucking beast. This this body we live in is a prison to our soul. We are on a prison planet. We are on a prison planet being tested by the great teacher Satan. Satan is the biggest deceiver in the fucking world, right? It tells you that in the Bible. So he poses as a God, right? He poses as God, the main source, right? Excuse the background noise. He poses as a God, right? So you sitting here and you telling me that your God wants you to fear you, fear him. Why the fuck would you fear something that's inside you, right? Why would you fear something that's inside you? If you have fear in you, you are vibrating at a low frequency and you are going to be reincarnated so that you can learn again why not to fear anything, why you should not fear anything because you didn't learn your lesson. You have to be purely about love. Your heart supposed to be pure. If you have fear, it's going to fuck that up for you because love is the strongest force in the world. It beats anything. You can go like I know y'all saw that uh that rally or whatever it was where it was a racist white dude, Caucasoid guy. 
and they was spitting on him, hitting him and whatnot. And then one of the one of the dark skinned dudes grabbed him and hugged him. He he was asking him why you hate me, why you hate me. He grabbed him and hugged him a few times, and the, it and it touched the uh, Caucasoid dude. It touched the Caucasoid. I say Caucasoid because ain't no such thing as fucking race. There's no such thing as race. None, none other than the human race. Ain't no ain't no such thing as race. Stop. You ha you ha you have to not see race. There's no such thing, and the Bible is not going to teach you that. The Bible also goes on to say things like, it says something along the lines of it being something wrong with people mixing uh, races, and, and not even just gender fluid. It say it say I don't remember exactly what it say, but it say something about people being mixed in families. But whatever, I'm mixed and I'm still going to ascend. Period. But anyway, uh. What else? So the Bible scriptures that they read and out to you in church, they don't even know what the fucking Bible scriptures mean. They don't even know where the Bible scriptures came from. I know a couple people who go to church and they play the uh, instruments. And they go to church, play instruments, or they just in the choir, or they just go to church, period, every Sunday. Now in the Bible, it says that Sunday is the in Genesis. I don't remember what uh what what scripture, what part. But it tells you that Sunday is the day that God took a rest. That was the day that that's the rest day. You are that's the weekend. You know why it's called the weekend, right? Because you work all week and then you get the weekend off. So why are you going to church to give your energy, give more of your energy to something that don't matter? You you going to church to learn things you can learn at home. And then, and then it's, it's also messed up because all the information you learn in that church is mixed up. This is why religion is, has been, is, is separated. Why is there many branches of Christianity? Why is there many branches of Christianity? That don't even make sense. The Christianity, I'm not, I'm not trying to, not, I'm not trying to, um, this is not necessarily my opinion when I say this. But Christians are the most judgmental and worst religious group that exists. And, and they're contradicting. These are the people that judge you. They judge you. And they tell you, they, they preach, thy shall not judge, but they judge at the same time. I know hella Christians. I come from a Christian family. You cannot tell me I'm lying. And it's not just because I, it's not just the, the Christians I meet. I see it on the internet all day and people can tell you Christians are the most contradicting people. A Jehovah's Witness will school the fuck out of a out of a uh a Jehovah's Witness will school the fuck out of a Christian. And I'm not saying Jehovah's Witnesses are right cuz no religion is right. No religion is right. Uh None of the you're not supposed to be a part of a religious group. What do you need a group to praise the Lord for? What do you need a group? The gods had no religious group. There was never a such thing as religion. They practiced spirituality. They knew that the they knew that the source was already inside of us. We don't have to pray to shit. The source sent angels. To, he assigned the source assigned angels to every single human. We pray to the fucking angels. We don't have to pray to shit that's already inside of us. We can talk to our higher self. We could talk to our higher self because the Bible not going to tell you is not going to tell you that the universe only responds to energy and not language. It does not understand language. It only responds to energy. That's why I keep on saying in many videos, you're not supposed to pray because you're making yourself pray to dark energy. Because if you were to be, for ex example, praying for money, you are, you're going, oh, c could you please give me so, uh, $100? I need $100. Or could you give me a new job? Or could you get... Take send me on a new uh, 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 a vacation or whatever you asking for. That's not how you you not supposed to pray because you are giving off the energy that you don't have it. 
in order for you to get what you want, you supposed to know that you have it already. Even if you don't physically have it in your possession, in order for it to flow to you effortlessly, you have to know that you have it. You have to know that you have it. And uh, you have to, <laughs> there was a fly behind me, but you, you have to know that you have it. This, and, and another thing is you have to let go and stop worrying about everything because when you worry about it, you giving you it mean you using your ego and you trying to control certain things. Like if you you worried about when your money is going to come and, and whatnot, it's you are you are basically the. Remember, I say you attract what you are. You attract what you are, right? Every day, a thing you can do every day, and the Bible, no religion, no church is going to teach you this. You have to tell yourself. You have to do affirmations. Saying things like, I am rich, I am abundant, I am living in abundance. E money effortlessly flows to me. Because you know what you are doing? You are living in your natural state, aka abundance. And what does that do? Since your words are vibration and you're giving off that energy that you have it, it's going to flow to you in many different types of ways. Remember, the they say God works in mysterious ways. The universe works in mysterious ways. We live in a world of unlimited resources. We don't have to pray for shit we don't have to ask we have to we have to say that we have it we have to know that we have it and there i said this quote before set it and forget it set the intention for it to come and then just forget about it you don't need to worry about it because i'll talk about that in another video that's basically the law of attraction but yeah church that all these these bible scriptures that they read and out to you in church they come from many different books many different books and they not even giving you the spiritual meaning of these of these uh verses that's out of the bible see the pastors don't even know what the fuck they talking about see you got people in church right they think they catching the holy ghost that's they they doing a ritual in church when they do that holy ghost shit i want y'all to know that that's a ritual i'm not saying it's a dark ritual but i'm telling you that's a ritual now it, it and it, it just depends what your frequency is when you go into that church now another thing about this the, you, the thing they call speaking in tongue there there is not called speaking in tongue see that's something <coughs> in spirituality before there was see they teach you this thing called light language or the language of light it's called the light language or the language of light either or this is what you do this is what they did before humans were able to speak language before humans spoke language when they were telepathic they only because i told y'all words are spells this is why you be careful what you saying to people because the english language is a curse all words are vibrations of different spells so the English language is just a bunch of, 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 of languages put together, crushed together, making all types of different, different, um, different energies. D see, and then people give energy to some of the words. And it, it's not always what you say, though, is what you mean behind it. Because you can say certain things. Like, for example, I could say something. I could be talking to somebody and I could and, and somebody could jump into the conversation and reply to what I say and I say get out my mouth see they could take that where I'm from when you tell somebody to get out my mouth that means get out my business now they could take that as something sexual it's, that's what I mean right there but at the same time the English language is a bunch of vibrations put together to make every single fucking word if you look at every fucking word almost every word in the English language it's a bunch of words put together with prefixes and suffixes and Greek terms, Roman terms, and uh, Latin terms all put together to make a bunch of English words. The English language was created by the Moors to, to put a curse on the Caucasoids because the Caucasoids, it was so the Caucasoids couldn't tap into the power of the melanated people. See, the Bible is not going to tell you that. Church is not going to tell you that. This is knowledge from your ancestors, not from no church. 
See, they talk about Jesus being a part of the church, ETC. There was no fucking Jesus. There was no Jesus. There was Enoch, there was Horus, and there was Osiris. Those are all who the story of Jesus come from. Uh, Jesus is a spirit that people created. You create spirits here in this life. You create spirits. And since everybody, all these people who believe in Jesus, they thought Jesus was a person, they gave energy to a spirit. Energy can create matter. I don't care what science tells you. It's not always the other way around, matter creating energy. Energy can create matter as well. You can add weight onto the matter with, with action, feeling, and thought, even your, vo even your voice. Now, back to what I was saying about light language. Light language is just what, what, what people use light language to do before. See, what happened when, you, when, when somebody is in church speaking uh, in tongue? They are being touched by God. They are being touched by the Holy Spirit. They are being healed. When you are speaking light language, what you can do with the light language is you heal. You can heal somebody with it or you can heal yourself. Or you can let off bad karma with it. You can do light language for many spiritual practices. That's not, it's not, church is confusing the fuck out of people. See, another thing about church is you, un, you unintentionally going in there to praise a deity you have no proof of. There is proof of every deity except that God that there is every it was it's proof of just about every deity except Jesus Christ. There was never proof. Why do you think people keep calling him white and black? And why do you how do how the fuck do people got a picture of him? Why the fuck do they think Jesus was an actual person who was Middle Eastern or white or a black person with copper hair? No, that's Enoch. That image that they create of, of Jesus Christ, that is Enoch. Enoch. Enoch's story is beyond older than the Jesus Christ. Enoch was in the tower of Enoch was in Babylon helping people out. Babylon is where people were at before they started speaking language. But since Earth is 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 under a lot of dark energy, this is the new Babylon. Because what was Babylon when everybody uh, started speaking language before they start babbling? which is talking. Babbling comes from the word Babylon. Babbling. We are babbling. Talking means babbling, which is the lowest form of communication. Babylon, see Babylon, ancient Babylon and Middle Eastern, right? Ancient Babylon and Middle Eastern, ancient Middle Eastern, or ancient Iran, Iraq, Iran, what the fuck ever. Iraq. When, when the people of Babylon use the motor cortex, the mortal cortex it, in the bible they call it i already talked about this man in the in the video of the t the history of languages i'm not about to keep repeating myself just know i talked about this already language everybody to make it short everybody who is in the tower of babel they satan is the one who knocked their tower down satan when he did that he he interrupted their motor cortex and it made motor cortex is is what's used to comprehend language. When he did that, they fell down and everybody started using language. We were never communicating with language. We were telepathic. We had spiritual connections with fucking animals. The Egyptians used dinosaurs as protectors. You know the people in Agartha underground and inner earth have a better spiritual connection with animals than the people up here on the on the surface of the planet? That's 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 crazy as shit, right? All the mythical animals you see on TV and books, all the fairy tale animals and creatures and, and all types of races, they all live in inner earth. You can astral project, you can connect with the uh, earth's chakra, the earth's core or the inner sun, the inner sun, which is the sun of the people that live inside of the planet. You can connect with that sun with meditation. And when you do that, you are healing yourself in earth with every step you take. But anyway, yeah, that's. I think that's pretty much it. Y'all gotta, y'all gotta let go of uh, religion, cause when soon as religion started, right? Soon as religion started, no, no. Let me get back to Babylon. When Bab when, when everybody got, everybody start babbling. Everybody start speaking different languages. Everybody start speaking different languages when they got knocked down off the tower. When Satan messed up the uh, mortal cortex, which is the crown chakra, the crown chakra. 
because they was trying to get in t uh, touch with the. They, all they wanted to do was get closer to God. Excuse me, and and that's what the crown chakra does. It gets you in t in contact with the spirit realm. Satan messed that up for us, and this is why we are able to speak language. A bunch of vibrations, and and we don't even know what they mean. Like the word nice, people people think the word nice means to be kind to somebody. Nice just means foolish and ignorant. When, if you think about it, if you being nice to somebody, you are just you're just being nice. It's a mask. It's a mask on when you being nice to somebody. If you are kind, you are kind hearted. You are naturally kind. There's no such thing as nice hearted, but there is kind hearted. Because when you when you doing something out of kindness, you are doing something out of love. You have to love yourself to. You have to have at least some love for yourself to even be able to do that. Because even fucked up people do kind things too. Now, let's not even hold ourselves up. But anyway, that's... See, church, man, it... Church... Oh, yeah, and b the thing about Babylon, since everybody got split up into different uh, places in Babylon and they were speaking language, the reason I say Earth is the new Babylon is because we have different countries, different continents that all speak different languages. We live in... And it's a lot of hell, hellish shit going on all around the planet. This is why I'm saying to you, this is the new Babylon. We live in the new Babylon. You can look up the uh, definition of Babylon uh, as well. It, it pretty much, when you think about Babylon, you think of a hellish place. You think of a fucked up place. We live in a fucked up place. Now, it don't, it don't mean you got to look at, look at your life as fucked up just because you live here. You got to worry about yourself because you're the creator of your own world. You the creator. Sometimes you gotta imagine. See, you know how people say say they got a bubble around them. Like when people get too close to them, they say, "Don't step into my bubble." You actually do have a bubble around you, a bubble of energy. You have to imagine that around your body. It that you. The more you uh raise your vibration, the more good things you doing to yourself when you taking care of yourself and bettering your life. It, it's like it all attached to that to that bubble, and you inside your own world. You, it's like a force field around you You feel people step into that bubble When they getting in your space You can feel them And people can feel your energy Uh, Yeah man Church is a load of bullshit Church And I'm, I'm, I'm saying that Bluntly, straightforward Church is a, a load of bullshit They not They, they See you everybody got a, a goddamn bible at home what are you going what are you going to church to let a person read a read a, a, a verse from you you could have read at home you had that bible in your house for so long that you didn't even sit think about sitting there reading as long as you had that bible i bet you could have read that bible over 50 times entirely thoroughly the bible is just a bunch of books and a lot of the Bible is it tore out all the, the sacred information from our ancestors. Even the book of Enoch is torn out of the Bible. We needed that in order for us to understand the spiritual realm, in order us for us to understand life after death, in order for us to learn how to love ourselves. We needed all we needed the book of Enoch. People were getting killed in America for having the book of Enoch. Why isn't the why why don't church talk about that? Why don't church talk about the book of Enoch? But they have the book of Enoch in Christian bookstores. You know, you know, Catholicism is responsible for all this evil shit that go on within Christianity as well. So, but Christianity, there was no such thing. What happened when uh, religion was, uh, was brought up, when, when it first arised, not before it was called religion, not before it was religious groups. This happened because it was so many people who had different beliefs in what a, a guy is. Life started in e life started in Africa, yo. I want everybody. Life started in Africa. The oldest human fossil was found in Morocco. The Moroccans are called the Moors. The Moors are the first humans created. Dark-skinned humans. The first one was a female. First human ever was a female. The first. The first, uh, and the first, the first, uh, like entity, the first entity was a male. Uh, uh, a, the creator, the main creator is a male. It's a, now I don't want to even say male because it has no gender, but it's a masculine energy. 
is what I'm trying to say once again. See, the reason me the reason for me saying life started in Africa right now is because in Africa, Egypt, all around Africa, they believe in many gods. They believe in many gods. So you telling me that they wrong? You it's monotheology or whatever it's called. It's not it's not no you're not supposed to practice that. That is like it, mono whatever it's called mono something which means you believe in only one god there is not one god i promise you you can be a god yourself there is one source there is not there is not one god you can become a god you can become more powerful than the fucking zeus you can become more powerful than all the gods that they talk about you can become powerful you have that power in you you can be talked about when you die. You can be put into a fucking Bible that another man can write. And then people can praise you. You can be praised while you're alive. Celebrities get praised. They have the power to be a God, but they are not spiritual. They don't have spiritual knowledge. They don't take care of themselves. They don't understand. Anybody can be a God. Anybody is just a higher prestige, just like in Call of Duty. That's all a god is, is a high prestige person. A person of high prestige or stature. They have a lot of energy. They absorb a lot of energy because a lot of people give them praise or give them their energy. They are very powerful. They have a powerful aura. You step in a room with them, you can feel their energy, period. You could recognize their energy if you were to be in rooms with them multiple times without seeing them. Without seeing their face and knowing they, they were in the room You will be able to recognize their energy They spirit when they leave When they leave their spirit behind when they die It's, it's see that, That's a whole nother That's a whole nother story Because people like to mourn over death And send dark energy Negative sad energy towards their spirit Which way they spirit now See that's not how they lived in Africa That's not what they did They praised They praised their people Look at that Look at that bicep but Anyway they praised their people When they died They, they, they congratulated they, they celebrated Because that means they're going To a higher dimension when they die Dimension Die Dimension See the Bible does not teach you everything You gotta You cannot You cannot depend on a fucking book it's just just one but you have to go within yourself and get the answers because everything you need to know step out in nature and, and meditate learn how to sit in silence sometimes and listen to your thoughts you are getting downloads of information every single day every single day you just it just takes quieting your mind and noticing it or, or just slowing down for once i made this video mad long longer than what it was supposed to be but it be like that. This is a whole episode of Untold Truths. And I'm about to drop another video after this about how to uh, how to communicate with the universe, how to trust the universe, and how to uh, use the law of attraction, how to manifest and whatnot. The Bible not going to teach you that. The Bible only talks about Solomon doing it, but they don't teach you how to do it. They, talks about, they talk about Solomon using the uh, law of attraction. But they don't call it that. They just say he stopped worrying about uh, material things and it came to him. That's how, that's how you use the law of attraction, bro. See, when, when religion started, it made everybody separate. It caused the wars. When the Hindus were in Babylon, when the Hindus were in Babylon, they were the most advanced spiritual people ever. And they still are. Them and the Buddhists and the Taoists and the Africans, etc. Because they they do they practice spiritual and magic, shamanic. God, they know that is many gods. They they know that God is within them. They meditate. Hindus wear bindis on their fucking forehead. That fucking represents the pineal gland, third eye, Ajna chakra, Agna chakra. Uh, First eye, pineal gland, pituitary gland, whatever, whatever people want to call it, that is they, these spirit, and and then Hindu was the first, Hinduism is the first spiritual, I and mean, is the first religion created. So you're not about to tell them that they wrong. You're not about to say that a Christian, Christian's point of view on the spiritual side is more accurate than a Hindu, and you still out here going to church practicing christianity i heard that 
I heard something somebody brought something to my attention about the Antichrist. If you take Christianity and you switch the uh entity part around, <laughs> you get Antichrist. You get Antichrist out of the word Christianity. That's pretty much it. I just wanted y'all to know. You cannot, you cannot, and and this is gonna be hard. Some people are not gonna like this when I say this. Uh, if you a Christian, if you a Muslim, uh, if you are a Jewish or Judaic, and you part of that Judas system or all the three of the main any religion, just about any religion, almost almost any religion. But mainly those three, Christianity, Islam, and Ju uh, Judaism, Hebrews. You're not going to what you call heaven. You're going to come back to this planet. You coming back to this planet when you die. And people think that it's a good thing to be reincarnated, which is another thing the Bible or church don't talk about. But they, they mention re reincarnation, but don't talk about how, to, how, it, how it works or what it is. You, not come at, you have to come back here, dude, because you didn't learn the right information. You you being deceived by Satan, you are being a part of society. You're not supposed to be a part of society. In order for you to escape the matrix, this video game, you have to stop. You gotta let go of religion. You're not ascending if you're a part of that those religions. You cannot ascend. And matter of fact, any religion, period, any religion, because they're not gonna teach you every spiritual thing you need to know. I mean, you can you can transfer over to Hinduism. You can transfer over to Taoism. You can transfer over to Buddhism because they teach you those are the wisest people, bro. They are the most self-disciplined people, especially the uh, the Buddhist monks, especially the ones that live on the mountain. That's something I practice. Self-discipline. That's pretty much it, though. I love y'all. Dom Universe taking off. Like, subscribe. Peace.